guys, welcome to TMI Weekly. We're here with Eve Pearl, makeup artist of the stars. She's won Emmys for The View. She works on Justin Timberlake, Kelly Ripa. Today, we are here to get down to the basics. Okay, Eve, we've come to you fresh faced, no makeup, no makeup in front of the camera. And still beautiful. Thank you, very scary. We're looking for the coverage that we need. So I'm looking for something for these under eye bags and getting a nice, like, clean finish across my face. Megs, I hate wearing makeup. I hate the feel of makeup. So anything that doesn't feel like makeup is going to be something that I'll actually wear on a daily basis. All right, let's, let's get started. I love it. This is what I've brought today. My concealer, my foundation with my dirty little sponge. The place right. you want to always test out your foundation really is here. You put it down here and you mix it down. Now, this is a perfect match for your face. However, if you notice that your face right now is still light, because clearly you protect your face from the sun, but your body is so much darker now. You can darken up that's your face and your idea. skin with powders. So if you have to choose between going in a foundation that's lighter than your skin or too dark for your skin, you can stay like on the lighter side and always you can cheat with your powders and your blushes. We approve of your foundation. Good job. Yay. Now, the only thing I would suggest is when you're using concealer that is more beige and browns, because yellow over those blue, which is the veins that are showing, yeah. yellow and blue gives you green, gives you gray, gives you those raccoon. Just, that's why I'm here. And it doesn't look right, man. And it doesn't. <laughs> What's a good rule of thumb if you do have to hold the you know, hold the bottle up to your face. You really should never hold the bottle to your face because if you have redness, when you put this over the redness, it's going to change the coloring of this. If you have darker skin, you should not match your skin exactly with the color because it's going to oxidize. It's going to turn even darker. Oh, wow. So like women of color, if you're oh. starting out this color, you want to first apply this color. It's going to oxidize and get darker on you within a half an hour. That's why sometimes you see women that have like their faces are darker than their bodies. Mm, that's why it's interesting to have both of us side by side. It's like, okay, well I would find something that matches while Megan would need to find something that's a little bit a lighter. A touch lighter, a touch lighter, exactly, that we can warm up with a, a little bit of a powder. So this is a professional dry wedge. Have a little bottle with water. So you spritz your sponge, you can spritz your face, then you take a tissue, get all the excess water out, but you still made it nice and full. It's like Delicious. a sponge on Viagra. So good brushes and good sponges are worth the investment. So we want this to be very sheer, because I want to see your skin. And I want you to touch your face. Touch your face. And at all times, you should be able to touch your face and touch That's your skin true. and not feel like yeah. you have anything crazy That's on. True. Although. The thickness of that does look crazy. It doesn't feel crazy. Now I'm going to go move on to the under eye concealer. This is the salmon concealer. Initially, this is what I'm famous for. And the whole thing of the salmon color is, when I first started creating it, I discovered an incredible ingredient called astaxanthin, which is the microalgae the salmon eats. It's actually a treatment for your eyes, 500 times more potent than vitamin E. So let's see what happens with our wet sponge and salmon concealer. A thousand reasons we love food. Number 304. I'm going to have to say because it's fun. Experience the 999 other reasons at HungryNation.tv. So let's see what happens with our wet sponge and salmon concealer. If you notice when you're applying concealer, ladies, a lot of you seem to love to rub this area. Try to pat it. Be gentle with your under eye area. It is the most sensitive part. Whenever I put under eye concealer, I get that cakey look. because My eyes are a little bit dry underneath my... Believe it or not, powder. Powder will set it, will prevent it from going into those little lines. I was told that powder no. ages you. No. I was told that everything ages you. But remember, <laughs> sometimes you're told that. <laughs> Before, do that. After, nice, clean. That was quick. My work here is done. Basic stuff that you need to do before you get going on eyes, before you get going on lips, so that you can have the fresh face look all day long. I actually don't wear any makeup, um, but I would love to learn like some fast fixes. I'm going to teach you that foundation is not as frightening as you might think it is. Now we're going to take the light color, and I'm going to put a little bit of it here. I'm going to take the darker color, and I'm going to put that right here. And even though she's not a foundation wearer, we're going to show her that it could feel just like her regular moisturizer. and does not have to feel like anything odd. If you can get her to wear a foundation, I'm going to buy you a cake. <laughs> you see a little bit of the redness that you have down here by your jaw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the lighter color now and just put that here. And this is going to get rid of the redness. You're saying you're doing things with your fingers? You could just take your fingers okay. and work your fingers in with the dark color here. Mm -hmm. And you see wherever you have the redness. And you take the lighter color 
put that right here. You don't even need a lighter color. I mean, that was like, what, two little steps? Right. Like, you see where you have some redness on your forehead? So I always put the dark on the redness. Wherever you have the, the red. I've been using light on the redness. And then spread it, <laughs> spread it so you don't have, like, just spread it. Okay. So basically, when you're spreading it, you're actually shearing it out. So powder actually helps to set your foundation. Hmm. And if you have a blemish, this will help you layer it without it moving around. You made it look so easy. But you did it yourself. No, it was great. Well, I usually feel dirty or like a drag queen when I have makeup on. I don't feel anything right now. So Eve, what we've learned from you today is dark goes on the redness, mm -hmm. right. like we saw on Megan and my faces, um, that light skin, you should try to match the color. And then on darker skin, like Megan's, you want to go a little bit lighter? Yeah, you want to make sure that you even out your face with the rest of your body. Right. Right. Thanks so much for having us. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, ladies. Thanks. That's all from us at TMI. Hope you learned a few tricks, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. But will you eat that cake? Now you, <laughs> you eat the cake. I've eaten plenty of cake, clearly. <laughs>